prefect. <laughs> no. Nope. No. <laughs> that is so cool. Hi friends. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, we'll be unboxing the Wizarding Trunk Special Edition. So it's their quarterly subscription box. And the theme is House Pride. And in my case, that means Ravenclaw. <laughs> This would be the time that I give a little bit of information about the wisdom trunk, but I think that the box speaks for itself because these boxes are always so magical, so amazing, good quality, they are packed, and they just always have very original and fun items. So I'm just gonna tell you guys to check them out. I will leave their links in my description. And if you do, then definitely use my discount code LEANDA10 to get 10% off. And without further ado, let's open this box. Of course, the spoiler card is on top, so let's put that away. And beneath that, we have loads of items. And yes, they are all blue. <laughs> Before I'm going to grab the first item, I want to say thank you to my patrons because you guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. And if you feel like it's something for you, then definitely come join us. Head over to patreon.com, type in my name or click on the link in my description. I honestly don't know where to start, so I'm just going to grab something out of this box. I think I'm going to go for this. This is something that's really soft. Oh, no way! It's a pillowcase! I honestly thought it was like a big piece of cloth that you could just hang somewhere. That's really awesome because this pattern looks amazing. For me, this is like a mix between Hogwarts, the Medieval Times, and then kind of Arabian Nights. I absolutely love this! And the colors! And then the back of the pillow is this bright blue. So you can just turn it depending on what you like. There's a zipper at the bottom. I mean, if I saw this at a homeware store, I would definitely buy it. And the material is just so soft. I love that when they do the softer materials with pillowcases. Can you tell I'm happy with this pillowcase? <laughs> awesome, that was item number one. <laughs> I'm intrigued by this little blue back so i'm gonna go for this one and there seems to be a ring inside <laughs> that is so cool so they've given us a signet ring with your house so the animal of your house is on this side and then there's an r and a shield with an eagle on the sides it kind of fits like it's still a little bit too big for this one but i maybe my thumb it fits on my thumb no, still too big. Pretty, pretty big. Um, but still, it's one size. I totally understand that. And then I know that some signet rings have like this other function that you could um, use them as a wax seal. I'm not entirely sure if you can use this one as well for that purpose, but maybe the spoiler card will tell us that. That's definitely original. I wasn't expecting a ring in... Oh, hold on. There's the word wisdom inside. Oh, man. Okay, that just gives it that extra spark. That's a good one, Wizarding Trunk. Moving on to the next item. I think this might be a sticker. It has a really odd shape. I feel like it's kind of a shape of a banner. So we've got the eagle and then the R, of course, the blue for Ravenclaw. It's just really big. So I'm kind of like, where should I put this? Maybe on a notebook? And is the design kind of made to look as an R as well? Because there are these lines surrounding the eagle and it almost seems like you could trace an R from this as well. That could also be me, but that's kind of how I look at it. But yes, a lovely sticker. I found a box and I think this might be a potion. I'm excited to see this one because we have gotten a Ravenclaw potion before from the Wizarding Trunk and it was a wit strengthening potion. It had a bronze wax seal, blue liquid and then a little... What's the word? <laughs> a little charm 
a little charm of an eagle. So let's see if they used any of the same things for the Ravenclaw potion in this box. They did not, so yay for the wizarding trunk. This is a white eye potion, the magical world's most potent sleepless potion. There is a bronze wax seal, then of course blue liquid, and a beautiful label. I'm curious to see if this is like just a common potion that everyone got, but then everyone just got a different color wax seal and a different color liquid, or if every house got a totally different potion. Let me know. And when we shake it, there's this beautiful blue shimmer. Next up is this notepad. And I love that the pages look really old. Kind of reminds me of a scroll from the library. And then we've got a shield with an eagle and of course an R. Even though I do everything, like literally everything on my phone and my laptop, I still think it's fun to have notepads and notebooks. It's just not the same when you click on finished, when you have completed a task. It just feels better when you do it on a notepad and you can go like, check. Done. I don't know, it just feels better. So I do enjoy getting notepads and notebooks. Did we get a beanie? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Let me see. So at first glance, I would say this is definitely not my favorite item because of the colors. I know it's really hard to do, like the bronze and the blue. And suddenly I get why Warner Brothers went with blue and silver, because that makes for a more stylish combination. It looks really, really oversized. So I'm going to try it on and see if it works. This is definitely not how I imagine it. So <laughs> this is a um, difference. <laughs> I feel like one of the seven dwarfs in Snow White. I'm not entirely sure if it's me or the beanie. I'm just, no, nope, no. For now, this is definitely my least favorite item of this box. Sorry for the person who made this because this is probably a lot of work. Then there is of course the key. Pretty sure there's a key in every box when it comes to the wizarding trunk. And you can also put it on your keychain. I really appreciate that because I never know what to do with these keys. I love the design of this key. So we have the Ravenclaw diadem at the top. Beneath that is an eagle. Then there's an hourglass. And it almost seems like the bottom is kind of a torch. And then this little part on the side is a crown. It's bronze. It's really intricate. And it's double-sided. I am really impressed with this. I'm gonna go over an item at the bottom. So let's see. I have got three things. First up is this. It says tutoring services offered. Tables in the library already reserved. White eye potion provided to ensure alertness while studying. Of course, we want to stay awake because we want to learn it all. That is so true, by the way, because I actually have days where I don't want to go to bed, go to sleep because I just want to learn more or do more. So I totally get the wide eye potion. Test answers will not be given freely. You must study and put in work. I feel like I would be the kind of person that would put this up. I really like how this looks and that it's kind of smudged at the edges. Then there's a little note. Dear students, a bottle of quick answer ink was found in the common room this morning. The ink was turned in to the headmaster and all students' work is now under review. To encourage the guilty party to come forward and admit their severe lack of judgment, this house values true intelligence and knowledge, not the kind offered via a bottle of charmed ink. Sincerely, your prefect. And they try to make it look authentic. It's double-sided. It's going somewhere on my shelves. And then the last paper item, it is the Salem Sisters. <laughs> Live in the Great Hall, October 31st. I feel like what they tried to do is this could be like three things you would find in the common room. So I'm pretty sure that everyone got this and these are probably personalized to your house. I am so excited to watch other people's unboxings now because I want to know what they got. I told you guys these boxes are packed. We have still like four to five items left. Next up is this. I feel like this is one of 
the tapestries that we see at Hogwarts. It's the one with the unicorn with a fence around it or something, isn't it? It is. So I think I, where do I recognize this from? I have a visual image of it, so I'm pretty sure it's from one of the movies. I'm not sure, but I feel like this is just something, a tapestry from the Great Hall, not necessarily Ravenclaw. Again, it's giving me medieval vibes. There are three women that are spinning something, so maybe these are the threads of time or something. Then of course we've got the unicorn, the wizard trunk added, some hooks and double-sided tape so you can put it up somewhere. I also did that with the House of Black tapestry. It's up in our hallway. Pretty sure I can find a place for it somewhere in my house. Then there's a candle in the box. I love getting candles. The label has the Ravenclaw common room with, of course, flying books. Oh, and the tapestry of the unicorn is on here as well. So it definitely is the one that is in the Ravenclaw common room. I feel like I also saw it in the game play trailer of Hogwarts Legacy. I hope there's going to be a box that is themed around Hogwarts Legacy that we're going to get items from the game. That's a different topic though. Okay, focus. And beneath it, it says crisp air, spiced cedar, stress relief, intelligence. <laughs> I love this color, by the way. Ooh, it smells sweet in a way, but also really calming. I feel like there are two pins in this box, so I'm gonna grab one of them. It's a Wizarding Trunk exclusive, it says so on the back. Prefect! <laughs> as soon as I read the little note that said, sincerely your prefect, I had a feeling we were gonna get this. Awesome. They did a really, really good job on this one. I know these pins, you can buy them online. They are almost exactly the same. I actually bought some for my magical friends, but I didn't buy one for myself. So so it's pretty cool that I have a prefect pin now. I don't have anything like this. I do have a prefect pin, but that's blue with bronze. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. And I might even wear it to the parks in November. There's also a patch in the box and it's 07. It's blue with bronze. The first thing that comes to mind is maybe a Quidditch player. Is this like the team captain's number? I'm blanking on this one but I do appreciate the colors. There's a little bit of a loose thread over here. I feel like they missed a couple of stitches. Otherwise it looks pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily use this. Personally for me, not really sure what to do with this. We have got another wearable. Oh my gosh, this box, you guys. It is a Ravenclaw tie. This looks pretty awesome. I mean, there's definitely the blue and the bronze. It's got a kind of, shimmer to it. The fabric is super soft. I like the pattern on there. I already have a Ravenclaw tie, so this will be my second. I don't think there are a lot of situations in which I'm gonna wear a tie. I mean, when you're a guy, you could probably wear this to work and nobody would even notice that it is a Ravenclaw tie, so that's pretty cool. But I do really appreciate that they added it because it's a house tie. It's pretty iconic. If you're doing a house pride box, you need to add one of these. We are down to the final two items, you guys. Okay, I think it's an art print. Is it the Ravenclaw Calma Room? That looks absolutely stunning. I wish my living room would look like this. It's the same common room as on the label from the candle. There's of course the tapestry with the unicorn, a bookcase, a table with books, a crystal ball, flying books, a beautiful statue. It's really, really beautiful. There is still a little bit of room left on my art wall. Not a lot, but a little. I can probably put it beneath the Diagon Alley shop sign. And then for the final item, it is another Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. Of course, it is Rowena Ravenclaw, the founder of our house. And it's in another one of those portraits. So the last time I talked to you guys about that, it would be interesting to see them do more portraits, that we could have like an entire pin banner full of portraits. And it seems like they are doing that. So that's really, really fun. I love the backing card that really adds to it. It's a beautiful frame. I love how she looks 
looks, her dress, her jewelry. It just seems like an actual person. I mean, this has to go on my special pin banner. Yeah, I have a special pin banner, a normal one. It's over there. And I have like a special one over there. It's the founder of my house, so it needs to go on the special pin banner. And that, my friends, was everything in this box. Let's see, we got a total of 15 items. So let's take a look at the spoiler card in case I missed anything. The school tie, we have included a brand new one in this box so you don't have to take a trip to the wizarding alley and pick one up. The common room painting, these common room paintings were created for us by Queen Map and Wizarding Workshop. I absolutely love the painting of the common room, so great job. Slouchy house beanie okay so it is a beanie and it is really slouchy these slouchy house beanies were created specifically for the students that receive the wizarding trunk for me personally i don't think i'm gonna wear it it's not my thing also it's not the season so for me that is my least favorite item the portrait pin house team letterman patch your letterman patch is in. The patch number represents the position you play on the house team. I thought so. So that's the seeker, right? The common room key. Having trouble remembering that common room password. Afraid to write down the answers again for fear of what happened last time you did that. This key should help. The answer to the common room that there's no beginning and no end, it's a circle. I thought it was just depicting the house traits. Anyways, it looks really good. House stationery, so that's the notepads. The house potions. Ah, so we did get a different potion for every house. Wow, that must have been a lot of work. The prefect pin, the common room tapestry, these tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms. That is honestly a brilliant idea. Common room notices, just a few of the notices that were posted to your common room notice board. Yeah, I thought so. So they added different paper items for the different common rooms, something you can find there. Another great idea, the class ring wax stamp it is your class ring has arrived created for display but can be used as a wax stamp really impressive vinyl decal this vinyl decal was designed for us by jp missile Crow. oh that's the sticker that i talked about it's a it's a vinyl decal throw pillow cover these pillow covers were designed for us by wizardry workshop love the design and the final item the common room candle these candles were created to smell like your common room label design by queen map and wizardry workshop and the next box theme is potions class think we can expect a lot of potions as always i am really impressed by the amount of items the quality of the items i think they did a great job with this theme a lot of boxes have done house pride and usually they disappoint me i'm pretty sure that's because it's all been done before and there's a lot of repetitiveness but i feel like the wizarding trunk found this balance between things that have already been done before and they've just upgraded those items and then they added some new original items so i'm definitely going to give this box four and a half out of five stars. The reason I'm not giving it five stars is because I am kind of missing a replica. For me personally, they could have left out the school tie and the slouchy house beanie and replaced that with a beautiful replica from your house or from your common room. For me, that would have been like the icing on the cake. But for people that are just starting their collection or just getting into these boxes, this is a great box. These are still great items. But for me personally, I would have given it five stars if they added a replica. And that was everything in the House Pride box from the Wizarding Trunk. I am excited to hear your thoughts. Also excited to see other people's unboxing. And it was fun spending time with you guys. Uh, I hope you have fun as well. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.